Hello and welcome and welcome back. So today we're looking at the Q105 SLU limiter. This is an interesting module. SLU limiting is also known as Portamento or Glide. So we're going to install that module and check it out and see what it does. Okay, so we're going to be putting in the SLU limiter. Now, you know, logically it would go there, but I want to move the noise over. I like having the SLU limiter next to next to the MIDI interface because that's where the pitch comes out and I'm going to plug it directly into the slew limiter. So let's say I got to pull this blank. Okay, so we take that out. And basically slide that over. Okay. And locate a extra plug and I see one right there of them in here and we plug that into here oh nice okay we have our slew limiter connected to our synthesizer the pitch output of the MIDI interface is going into the slew limiter. Slew limiter is then going off to the oscillators. So with the amount turned down to zero on the slew limiter, it doesn't have any effect on the control voltage. If I turn it up, then it does. If, um, if you want, you can have uh, all your oscillators track with that. Very cool. Um, you also have a direction switch on here. So if I put it on down, it glides down, but it doesn't glide up. If I put it on up, it glides up, but not down. And of course, both, both ways. Another kind of neat thing is you can take one of the oscillators, take it off of the glide circuit and put it on the regular CV circuit. And now you have what kind of sounds like one is chasing the other one. That's kind of neat. Very cool. So that's the conventional way that you would use glide. Here's a little trick that I saw. I think I saw Keith Emerson do this. If you have the uh, glide set fairly long and you want to make it even longer, so let's say we go from the bottom. Okay, so that's my maximum setting. You could do this, you could play it chromatically kind of slow. increase the length of glide, which I think is kind of cool. So another feature that we have on the Q105 is the control. So when the control light is lit, the slew limiter is enabled. If I press this button, it's off. Well, you can also plug in a foot switch. And in the case of the foot switch that I have, which is a momentary switch, the light is off unless I press it. So I could do something like a... And then press the switch when you want the slide, and that's a great performance tool. So that's sort of the traditional, conventional way that you would use Glide. So let's look at another way. Okay, so now instead of running the control voltage through the slew limiter, we're going to run the gate through it. The reason we're doing that is we're going to create a kind of like an envelope generator without using an envelope generator. So normally, we mentioned in a previous episode that you can turn the VCA on and off with a gate. Because you get a gate every time you hit a key. 
but all you get is the straight on and off. But if you run it through the slew limiter, now you have a little bit of control over the attack. The downside is the amount will affect both the attack and the release. If you want more release, you got to put up with more slower attack. Except, if you put it in the down position, now you, it's, remember in the down position it only glides when the voltage is going down. So when the gate comes on, we get an immediate sound. When you let go of the key, the gate goes off and we glide that, that voltage back down to zero. So we've actually used the slew limiter to give us sustain. And we can adjust. You could put it in the up position, the direction, and get a kind of an opposite. So if you have one of those times where all your envelope generators are busy, and you just need one more sound, and you just needed one more envelope generator, don't forget about the slew limiter. You could run the gate directly to it. It's kind of like an AR, but with just one control. Except for the fact that you can control the, the direction. That's what makes the difference. So don't forget the slew limiter could be an envelope generator, kind of a modest one, but just enough maybe to complete a project that you're working on. Okay, so that was the slew limiter. Very interesting module and some unusual ways to use it. Next episode, we're gonna be looking at the sample and hold. So we're gonna put that module in and check it out. We appreciate you guys coming around and watching these videos. If you're getting anything from it, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and come back and check out the sample and hold next episode. We'll see you then.